Hey guys, I know that we all try to be more efficient when we're doing reloading and everything. Do whatever we can to help us like move things along. I know on precision reloading, you might want to take your time and do everything by hand and that's fine. But what in the cases, let's say you're doing a production of let's say 223 or 300 blackout that you're going to do a lot of rounds and you're not too worried about precision on every single one. Everything just needs to fall into spec but you want to kind of hurry up. And one thing that takes us a little bit of time is our brass prep. A lot of you guys are still doing the old hand reamers and uh, deburring with just a hand tool, which is fine. But a lot of us would like to automate it. And a lot of us doesn't have the money to shell out for a really nice, let's say one of the RCBS or one of the other brand brass prep stations. But what if I told you, you could build your own for a fraction of the price and uh, it worked just as good. So guys, I wanna show you today, I'm gonna to show you what I built. Uh, this isn't my design, but I did uh, make a few modifications to this design, I'll show you that as well. And I hope that it'll help me with my production, increased production, and help me with uh, my brass, brass prep going forward. So, my name's Rodney, I'm with Five Star Guns and Gear Review, and this is one of our DIYs and uh, we're going to show you today exactly what we did to do our own powered brass prep station here we go okay as promised this is the uh, brass prep station that i built and uh, this design right here is by richard bean and i'll leave a link in the description where you can download the plans and everything for it and i'll show you a few modifications i made to it so uh as you know, the uh, RCBS and some of the other brands of the case prep stations can get quite costly. And uh, Mr. Bean actually uh, came up with this design and uh, he's come up with a few designs. Um, one of the designs he also came up with was a brass annealing station. I'll leave a link somewhere uh, for that so you can go check that out. I actually built that as well. So if you need a brass annealer, very very nice machine i'll show you what modifications I made to that as well anyway let's get back to this it is a full featured brass prep station it has four stations and these inserts are interchangeable i can take these brushes out i can insert uh, like the primer pocket tools they slide in real easy take out whatever uh tool head that you want and just replace them so the only thing that i really changed about this it did not have these holders on the front and the back but i did want a couple more holders where i did have a place to go ahead and uh, put extra tools that i would be using and just kind of keep them all in one place so i did add this and i did design this and i'd be more than happy to share with you guys the files to actually uh, print these off. This is 3D printed. Uh, all the uh, components I ordered off Amazon. So this LCD and the uh, motor that's inside here I ordered as well. And it does have a 12 volt power supply. Um, you can, if you want, add this uh, handle. Uh, that's optional. I went ahead and added it. It's part of the plan. Um, but it's up to you guys. So I thought this was pretty cool. The uh, parts are not very expensive. I think this uh, voltage controller with the rheostat built in probably was around $12. I think the motor was about the same price. And uh, the power supply, just shop around. You might have one at home you can get for free. It's 12 volt DC power supply and wire directly and that would work just fine as well but if you have to buy one let's say anywhere from six to twelve dollars for that uh then you just need to buy some minor hardware like these bolts uh this four and a half inch bolts right here very very cheap at home depot um you might need a few hardware like screws and stuff like that but overall you can get packages of those for like a buck buck 25 a piece at home depot and uh, go ahead and assemble this. It's very, very inexpensive, full featured, and I'll show you exactly how it works. So let's say uh, I've got it at 100% right now, but I can push the button on, adjust the rheostat. Now I didn't punch this 30-06 brass, so I'm not gonna be able to 
do every stage on here, but I go ahead and prep this. And it works absolutely great now this uh brass has not been sized or anything so this is just some brass i've got that haven't done anything with so as you can see it cleans up really really good so it works great now these tool heads uh, probably was the most expensive part of the project uh these are from a lineman uh little multi-tool so in that, you get these two heads here. You get these four heads here. So a total of six pieces, and it comes with a little hand tool. I just took all that off, put some 8x32 nuts on here that slide right down into here, and uh, that's all you have to do. And like I say, you saw how I changed these out. Just pull these out, select what you want to go in there, and uh, just slide it in. Pretty, pretty simple. So... Uh, I think it's a good design. It's just as good as the higher end ones that you'd buy. And it's absolutely going to work great on the bench. Uh, very, very simple. If you don't have a 3D printer, uh, you can always contact somebody to actually print that out for you. Mr. Bean does not sell these. He uh, actually provides the file for free to the community. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Um, but if you need somebody to print it, you may contact him. If he's willing to print it off, I'm not sure. Um, I don't mind doing prints as well. You can contact me and I might can work out something where I can actually print this out for you as well. Um, and you know, then you'd have choice of colors and stuff like that. That's pretty, that'd be a pretty cool option. You can do it solid black, whatever. Uh, this is just some filament I had on hand. So, uh, these are the colors that I chose and, uh, Overall, I think it came out pretty darn cool. I want to show you guys today this and how it works. Very, very simple to set up. Uh, everything's gear driven off that one motor and uh, works really, really, really well. I don't see any issues. And if there is any issues, it's very easy to disassemble. And if we had any issues with any particular part inside, it'd be very, very simple to change that one part out replace it, put it back together. Uh, really, really easy build. So guys, uh, if you're looking for a solution, you like to do it yourself type stuff, uh, this would definitely be an option for you. Uh, like I say, if you don't have the 3D printer, uh, holler at somebody that does, and uh, definitely you can download the files offline for free. Those are those are available for free. If, if you need to pay somebody to 3D print, that's another another story but I still think even if you did that you're going to be saving quite a bit of money compared to the commercially available units and it does exactly the same thing i like it it does have a uh, catch tray here with a ledge uh, so you'll clean up when you get your brass shavings and stuff it's going to actually drop them right here you can vacuum that off brush it off uh, really easy but it won't be falling off the side on your desk or whatever on your reloading bench so uh, pretty darn cool guys what do you think i want y'all to let me know in the comments what y'all think about this um uh, let me know any improvements if it was yours that you would make i think that it works pretty cool uh i guess with some design changes and stuff you could even do multiple stations it's even more than this However, I think when you get into that, the torque and everything on that motor, I don't know if it would handle that many tool heads. It might without any issue since normally you're just going to be putting pressure on just one of them at a time. So uh, that's definitely something to uh, keep in mind. It may work just fine. Uh, but I do appreciate Richard Bean providing this uh, files to the community. I think that's pretty cool. And... Uh, I think anything that you can do to actually facilitate the production during reloading um, is just beneficial to you. So, guys, appreciate y'all uh, stopping by today. Guys, if you're subscribed, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification. That way you know when we're putting out new content. And as always, God bless, and I'll catch y'all on the next episode.